Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Avis, welcome back to my episode, and if you didn't really remember, but recently we had the Memorial Day weekend, and we should have had a Roblox Memorial Day sale during the weekend, it would have been kind of cool, we had some leaks, but yeah, nothing came out from Roblox's side, but I gotta say, we had a pretty cool Memorial Day sale, UGC sale in my opinion, um, it was pretty fun overall, and I did enjoy it quite a bit, and it was better than nothing to be honest, and yeah, overall I enjoyed it. Anyway, so the main thing of this video is kind of like that I show how to make a good sale in Roblox or what the Memorial Day sale could have been potentially if Roblox would have done a sale. And I did that for the President's Day sale simply because I, I have the feeling that Roblox should do at least one last sale. And in this one last sale, they should include like all the items that people really care about and that people really want. So they should definitely ask the community like, hey, what kind of items would you like to see? And hey, we do like one last sale and they could advertise it or market it as literally the last sale and it would be very benefiting for them. But yeah, let's, let's actually not talk too much about this whole topic in general. Alright guys, there we go. So background music is running and pretty much what we're gonna do, we're going to take a look at older Roblox sales and then, well, we're going to make a brand new sale with those. So we have 2017 Memorial Day, we have 2018 and 2019 and pretty much how Roblox does their sales is they have four days, starts on a Friday, ends on a Monday, if I'm not completely wrong, and yeah, technically it ends on Tuesday because Monday is still the last day with items. Um, quite important to know. So we're going to do the same layout that Roblox has for days and we're going to start of course with Friday. So yeah, let's see what Roblox did in the past. We have right here three different sales from three different years. Roblox starts with packages and you can see they kind of did that for nearly all of them. So discounts. Honestly, um, these discounts seem pretty good. I would add some other ones as well. So right here Roblox discounted maybe the Frostgar one. Corblox Mage, Overseer, 10 million, Roblox Man, and yeah, that's it. I would also throw in another bundle or package, whatever you want to call it. I would throw in the Corblox Staff Speaker right here, um, because that one is fairly popular among the community, and for 12,000 Robux, I think it's a great deal for people to pick up. So yeah, maybe a good idea to put this one on sale so more people can buy it. And let's move on to wave number two, because wave number one was just a bunch of packages and I'm pretty sure we covered that fairly easily right there. So let's move on to wave number two. Wave number two, we have, well, some items that went limited and we can just do that real quickly um, by just taking a look at some items that we have that are currently off sale. As an example, I can show some of the items that I own because that's a lot easier for me. Um, as an example, we have stuff like the Crimson Periestrum Crown, we have stuff like the Pink Eye, we have other things as well. We have some top hats that Roblox could potentially put on a discount, but we're going to talk about that in a little bit. We have Pinstripe Fedora, maybe. We have the Poison Horns of the Wasteland, which could go limited technically. We also have some other items as well, like these Lampshades, which are fairly classic items, which could go back on sale. We have like these items right here as well. So yeah, there's a lot of things that Roblox could do for this wave. We also have, I'm pretty sure, the Red Clockwork and Blue Clockwork headphones, and maybe like an Adroid cape or something like that. Alright, so let's take a look at the next wave now. A lot of items that could technically get limited right here. So these are all off sale. Uh, wait, let me find the ones that I wanted to actually put in this list right here. So we have a few items that Roblox could technically use. We also have the red clockers, of course. So yeah, all of these are off sale and they could technically go limited if Roblox really wanted to. So let's move on to the next wave. In the next wave, Roblox released some more packages or brought them back on sale. So Roblox could do that too. We have so many packages that are currently off sale. I really don't have to go into detail for that. Then we have some items right here, like a uh, Periestron Crown. This is the one, um, another one that is off sale, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not completely wrong. Yeah, there we go. This one is off sale too. And a bunch of other stuff as well. So Roblox could work with these. We have also some timed items right here. So maybe these items could go back on sale or something like that. So we would cover this wave as well. And also what Roblox could do, which they did in the past, some noob attacks, pretty much what they could do for these. Just take a random accessory from the Roblox catalog, give it to the noob, and you're done with that. You don't even have to make a brand new noob for that, you can just reuse an older one. And then just take a sword, kind of um, scale it down and also change the verts amount, like the vertice amount, so it fits for the Roblox catalog. And then you're pretty much done with that, so... Alright, we covered the first day, technically. Um, I would say let's move on to day number two. So in 2017, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they released on day two, War Clock Series, Dominus Ghost Limited, Dragon Soul Hoods. Uh, fairly interesting stuff right here. 
Um, we're gonna take 2018 as an example as well because I think that's a great idea. We had here some classic items as well. We have a noob attack, so technically we could put on another noob attack on day two as well because it's just a small limited and people really like these. So yeah, it's benefiting for everybody. Then Roblox put on sale the big hat items, um, which they could do again. It's not a big deal. They're not that rare, so I'll just do that. And then you can also throw in some work clocks maybe. Why not? People like these. They're very liked by the community. What I could also throw on this classic kind of wave, we have the checker lampshades. Uh, there's quite a few of these. I think there's like four lampshades. We also have some discounts they could throw in on day two again. We have like some top band, uh, band top hat, sorry, and a bunch of other items as well that Roblox could just throw on a discount. And yeah, pretty much what they can do. So next up, we have some brand new items right here, which they could just, I think, re-release if I'm not completely wrong. Yeah, there you go. So these are items from 2017 Roblox could bring back. Um, I think they were not too popular, so yeah, maybe would be a good idea as well. And um, we also have some other stuff as well that they released right here, as you can see. So maybe some stuff they should bring back or some more discounts. It's totally up to them at the end, but I'm pretty sure you get the point. Next up, we have another wave right here that we could do um, on day three. We can do some animations. Totally easy thing to do. Just discount some animations. Um, people always like these as well. We also have now the emotes that Roblox could discount. And then they could also discount some other items. As an example, we would have um, the, the Arthro packages could be a potential discount and then a lot of other stuff that roblox did here we have some violet velk shades as an example roblox could do now um if you didn't know we have an ice velk so what roblox did in the past they released for every single velk uh velk shades we have emerald velk shades we have normal velk shades black velk shades and we also have the violet velk shades and now we have an ice velk so why not some ice velk shades as an example would be a cool idea as well so yeah here we have some more other things that Roblox could technically release. Okay, these ones are already out as a limited, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not completely wrong. Let's take a look at these real quick. I'm pretty sure they're limited. Yes, there you go. So maybe make a new head draw and just change the shades with something else. And there you go, something for that weight as well. And maybe just discount some random um, items from the catalog. Dominus Prefect is obviously is a limited. Uh, it came from a gift, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, pretty interesting as well. Um, definitely a lot worth now than back then. Overall, fairly interesting stuff right here. And let's check day four and day three. They could release some antlers as well. So yeah, you see the point here. We also have some clockwork headphones right here. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that was the... Wait, which one was that? Oh, the, clock heart, uh, the clockwork headphones that I was about to say. Um, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, 10,000 Robux. So these are off sale right now. They could bring them back as well. And... Yeah, in general, there is a lot of stuff that they could just discount again right here. We're discounted to the end of the day. 8-bit King of the Nate. I'm pretty sure I bought that one back then. And a bunch of other stuff as well, like the Anthers right here. And some more classics they could bring out at that point. And day 4, we have some faces. So what Roblox could do is just release some new faces. I'm pretty sure this one is also off sale. So Roblox has a ton of items that are currently off sale that they could just release. Um, so maybe Roblox. Think about that. Think about one last sale where you release like all the stuff that people really want. Um, you have so much potential with so many items that are currently off sale. Um, maybe make some more limited to at least help the market at least a tiny, tiny bit. I'm pretty sure there's currently some some things going on in the market. A lot of items have been rising a lot recently, which is pretty interesting. Um, I guess people are just buying them now and I don't know. Overall, that's kind of my how to make a Memorial Day sale video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, of course, it's not fully into detail because I cannot really do that. I can also not show how to make brand new items for the sales. Um, but I think I've covered pretty much a lot that I wanted to cover. I showed that how many items are off sale right now by just going through my own inventory. And I'm pretty sure there are so many more items that I didn't even showcase today that are also off sale that Roblox could potentially use for a sale. And there's so much potential. We have now stuff like emotes that we didn't have a few years back that you could always put on a discount and people would buy them. So yeah, Roblox maybe consider one last sale for like everybody. Um, I'm pretty sure it would help you out a lot as well because it probably would bring you money and I'm pretty sure a company kind of cares about that. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.